Golf has always been a, a place where I can be competitive and show who I am and my guts inside. Every new day when the sun rises for him, that day is a gift for Eric Compton. There's plenty of guys that are way more talented than me, but I don't give up, and then th that's why I'm here. <laughs> this is one of not only the best stories in golf, it's one of the best stories in sports. Golf is a place for me to get inside the ropes and escape from reality. One thing to keep in mind is that Eric Compton does not want to be a ceremonial golfer on this PGA Tour. To play against the best players in the world and want to beat them and, and not re remember all the stuff that I've had to go through. Eric Compton has always shown perseverance, starting at the age of 12 when he received his first heart transplant. At 21, he was an All-America at Georgia, representing his country on the Walker Cup team. After turning pro, he spent the next several years primarily on the Web.com tour before his second heart gave out. It was just a really, really, really tough time and I had basically come to grips that golf was over with. I had come to grips that I was gonna die. Incredibly, just three years after receiving his third heart, he broke through for victory on the Web.com tour, securing his place on the PGA tour for the 2012 season. I'm happy and proud that I've been out here for steadily the last five years and this new heart that I have seems to have uh, brought on some good play. Last season was a career year for Compton, placing 64th in the final FedEx Cup standings, compliments of a hot putter in which he finished 17th in total putting during the FedEx Cup season. My putting has been really good the last couple years. You look at Rory, his strength is driving the ball. My strength has been putting. I think when I'm feeling well and I'm very strong, then I have good ball striking days and that equates to good tournaments. And if you want to be really, really good, you got to be kind of good at everything. So I'm working on that. Compton continued his fine play into the early part of this season, making the cut in his first five events, including a top 10 at the Career Builder Challenge, where he was in the final group on Sunday. Golf is it's a tough game and you just you have to take advantage when you're playing well. And so I feel like I got some good golf in front of me looking forward to the US Open. And for good reason. While Martin Keimer won going away by a whopping eight shots at last year's U.S. Open, it was Compton's gritty tie for second performance that won the admiration of golf fans everywhere. I felt like a win because the crowd was really behind me there and they were cheering for me, made a nice putt on 18. Currently sitting at 104th in the FedEx Cup standings and with more than half the season gone, Compton knows he'll need a strong finish down the stretch. You can never take your job for granted. I mean, the kids coming out nowadays are, are ready to play and win, so you got to always be ready to play your best out here and win. And I've come close. I've given myself two chances to win this year. And if I can give myself a few others, that would be a great year. 